Here we have what might be another Blues Junior Killer. This is the Artist Cream Tone 20i amplifier. This is a full valve amp. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back to the channel folks, this is Shane, you're listening to the Artist Cream Tone 20i Amplifier Combo. Let's take a look. Here's the amplifier up close, now if we take a look at the panel left to right, guitar input, we have a gain control. Now this works both on the low gain and on the high gain setting, and these channels are drastically different, or the gain structure is drastically different, so I'm going to show you that in the video. Both clean, with the gain down and the volume up, and then with some pedals, versus just the tones of the amplifier on its own, it does a really great job of giving you a very usable sound, just straight without any other effects. So I think that's pretty awesome. It handles pedals well, which we'll get to in the video. We have a three band EQ, and we also have the middle control here, which you can push pull and it changes the voicing of the amplifier. And I'll show you that in the video as well. We also have a reverb control over here. This is a digital spring reverb, but it does an extremely good job. Much like the Artist Tweed Tone 20R that I reviewed a while back, the onboard reverb is just fantastic and a master volume over here. We have a standby and power switch. One of the cool things about this is we get a speaker out that we can actually disconnect the speaker, hook it up to something like a two notes torpedo live or something like that if you so choose. If you're a home studio guy, that's really handy. I won't be using any of that in this particular video. We're miking up the Celestion Vintage 30, which is on the inside of this. We have a line out as well, so you can send it to a desk or something like that. And an effects loop, which is something that the Tweed Tone amplifier doesn't have. So this is a slight advantage over there. We also have a channel reverb foot switch control input over here as well. This didn't come with the foot switch, so I won't be using it in the video. I'll just be using the toggle switch across the front. In regards to how heavy the amplifier is, it comes in at 18.5 kilograms. So it's nowhere near as heavy as say something like my Marshall DSL 40 or even my Blues Deluxe, but it weighs quite a bit more than you would expect for a fairly small footprint amplifier. Firstly, a massive thanks to Artist Guitars for sending this out. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about this amplifier, links will be down in the description below. They also have some shops outside of Australia now, so I'll link them down in the description as well. So let's get into it. Let's kick it off on playing the Artist TC59 electric guitar. It's a tally loaded with two humbuckers, which we can also split coil as well. We're going to start on the lower gain of the two channels with the toggle switch to the left, gain control down, and we have the master volume up at 12 o'clock, which is really, really loud in this room. We also have the push-pull pot on the mids control in the in position or in the down position, which is essentially how it would sound normally. We'll try it in the other position pulled out just in a little bit. So this is neck pickup. Here we go, humbucker mode. Split coil neck. And now with the push-pull pot in the up position, let's take a listen. Mm -hmm. 
and back down. So it's definitely fatter with that in the down position. Let's try that now with a little bit of overdrive. I've got the Royal Flush out, which is one of my favorite overdrives of all time. And this is with the left side on, which is probably camera right. So let's give this a go. So it takes overdrives, no problems at all. Let's try it with the other side of the Royal Flush on as well. And just a little bit of delay now going into the front end also. To show you now is the different gain structure between the low gain and the high gain at exactly the same setting. So here we go. This is an artist guitars Les Paul as well. This is neck pickup. And now over to the high gain setting. Now with a clean boost. So you can definitely push the drive channel with a clean boost or an overdrive or whatever you choose to, no problems there at all. But let's crank up the gain, give it to about 12 o'clock here. Let's go to bridge pickup for this. Gain up to three o'clock, which is most of the way up. I'm gonna start with the volume control down. A little bit more. man and that's at 12 o'clock on the master volume so it's got plenty of volume no questions there now this amp also has an effects loop and i've got the serena digital delay going through that so let's hit that on i'm actually just going to turn up just a hair crank up the gain all the way maybe turn the mids and the bass up a little more i found that the drive channel isn't quite as full sounding as the lower gain channel and that's pretty common most of the time they scoop out a bit of low end but let's give this a shot now with some delay. I used this in the intro clip. Here we go.
flip that now. This is single coil neck pickup. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching guys. My name's Shane. So what do I think of this little beast overall? It's plenty loud. It's definitely loud enough to do most gigs with, even though it is 20 watts. It's just, it's brutal. It is absolutely loud. I didn't get it past one o'clock on the master volume for a reason. It is really loud in this room, but it sounds good. I'm not the biggest fan of vintage 30 speakers personally. I know a lot of people love them and that's fine. It's just a personal taste thing. I usually find they usually sound better when you get two or more in a, in a cabinet. But in this, it works okay. It might not have the biggest low-end response compared to, say, the Artist Tweed Tone 20. It's more of a focused mid-range sound, which is what that Vintage 30 is known for. It's also known for having a bit of extra top-end top sizzle. Not the teeth-shattering type of stuff, but it's a bit more focused sound overall with a little bump in the high end. And that's why it works well in this amp, because it is a high gain amplifier. You want the, basically the top end frequencies to be a little bit clearer anytime you're adding lots of gain saturation. This definitely has, I think, more gain than the actual Tweed Tone 20R, but I'm gonna compare that and see how they go. Now, the Tweed Tone 20 is a great amplifier from Artist Guitars as well. It's one of my favorite amps out there. And it's loaded with a 7080 speaker, which is different to the Vintage 30. So inherently, they're gonna sound different, but there's a couple of advantages to this one. The main one is, the gain structure is completely different. For me, I don't ever play like perfectly dead clean a lot of the time, but you can get it out of this if you so choose, but you can also wind up the gain on the clean channel and get just a little bit more out of it if you want to do it that way. Now, one of the other advantages is there's an effects loop on it, which is great. So if you're an effects loop kind of player, you've got that option. You can simply plug in your you know favorite delay or reverb and just plonk it on top of the amp and plug it into the back and you're good to go. And what, I guess one of the other upgrades or whatever over the Tweed Tone would be the fact that it does have a Vintage 30. A lot of people will prefer that over a 7080, and that's just one of those things. It's all subjective stuff, but overall, it's a great little combo. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna find out more about this amplifier, I'll leave links down in the description through to Artist Guitars in the UK and also in Australia, and you can check it out online. So thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.